Hi all, I am Roshni Alex, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics, MAS College, Marapulli. Today we will discuss the topic I square C in area. Just like USART and SPI, uh, I square C is also a serial communication protocol. I square C, inter integrated circuit. It is also referred to as TWI or two wire interface, a serial communication protocol created by the Philips semiconductors. It's an easy way to talk between ICs with minimum number of pins and it is ideal for attaching low speed peripherals to an embedded system. The features of I square C, it's a simple bidirectional two wire bus used for communication. The two lines used for communication are uh, SDA and SCL. SDA is the data line and SCL is the clock line. Each device connected to the bus is software addressable by a unique address and up to 120 different devices can share an I square C bus. All the 120 devices will have a unique address and the microcontroller will communicate with these devices using this ad their addresses. The architecture of I square C or TWI. It consists of four submodules, bitrate generation unit, bus interface unit, address match unit, and control unit. This is the architecture. The bitrate generation unit. This is the bitrate generator. It generates the clock when it is in the master mode and this clock determines the speed of the transmission. In all the cases of serial communication, the master generates the clock. Then we have the bus interface unit. Bus interface unit generates the start and stop bits along with the address and data. Also, it receives the acknowledgement from the slave. Then we have the address match unit, AMU. It detects the address of the slave and informs the control unit upon an address match. And the last uh, section, control unit, it generates the control signals and also sets the status register according to the current status. So this is the explanation. The bitrate generation unit controls the frequency of the system clock when operating in the master mode. The bus interface unit detects and generates start, repeated start and stop conditions. It also detects arc rotation, controls sending or receiving acknowledgement and also transfers packets of data or address. The AMU compares the received address byte with the 7-bit address in TWA address register and informs the control unit upon an address match. The control unit controls the TWA module and generates responses according to the settings in the TWA control registers. It also sets the content of status register according to the current status. Master and slave. So for serial communication, there will be a master device and a slave device. The master will be in charge of the bus and generates the clocks and the slave simply obeys the master. So this is the command sequence. This is the data frame of I square C format. So we have a start bit, then seven bit slave address, and the eight bit will be uh, read or write, zero for write and one for read. Then the nine bit is sent by the slave. So these bits, these uh, eight bits are, sorry, eight, uh, not eight, uh, nine bits are sent by uh, the master and this acknowledgement bit is sent by the slave. 
then we send the 8 bit data then 9th bit is again an acknowledgement from the slave again if we have further data we can send that again during the 9th bit time they, we will get back an acknowledgement or not acknowledgement non acknowledgement means if a data is not delivered properly if there is any mistake or anything something uh, anything like that then they will send a not acknowledgement signal in that case in that case we have to send this data again so in the uh, previous slide we have seen a repeated start uh, if a non acknowledgement is got back we will uh, send that data again uh, along with a repeated start bit and after the transmission if all the transmissions are over we will send this stop bit so the command sequence is first we send the start bit then we send the 7 bit address of the slave then a read or write signal is issued 0 indicates a write means the master is transmitting or writing a data to the slave 1 indicates a read operation which means the slave is sending a data to the master and the master reads it so the 7 bit slave address and 1 bit read write makes a total of 8 bits after these 8 bits they will listen to the slave to get back an acknowledgement during the ninth bit time the master will be silent and listens the bus to get back an acknowledgement that is when the address of the slave is recognized by the uh, respective slave it acknowledges back after getting the acknowledgement the 8 bit data is sent by the master in the case of write if it was a read then the slave will send a byte to the master again during the ninth bit time the master waits for the acknowledgement the acknowledgement is of two types acknowledgement and not acknowledgement uh, if the data is received without any error then an acknowledgement is sent back if it is not received properly then a not acknowledgement is sent back in that case the data sent previously is sent again along with the repeated start after completing the transmission or reception the master will send the stop bit p to terminate the communication so this is the conditions of signals in order to transmit a data we need to start, uh, in order to uh, send a start condition we need to satisfy two conditions that is scl should be one and sda should be in the following edge scl and sda are the two pins uh, we are used for communication this is the sda and this is scl scl should be one and sda should be at in its falling edge this is the first condition to generate a, a start signal and then uh, we send the address 7 bit address then rewrite bit and then we listen for 1 bit time to get back the acknowledgement or not acknowledgement then after getting that acknowledgement or not acknowledgement we will send the uh, data sorry after getting the acknowledgement we will send the 8 bit data again during the ninth bit time we will wait for acknowledgement if we get that acknowledgement the transmission is over and we will generate a stop condition if you are generating a stop condition uh, two condition must be uh, satisfied that is SCL should be one and SDA should be at its rising edge so this is SCL SCL is in its uh, is one and SDA is in its uh, rising edge. So this is the condition for transmission or reception, whatever it is. And this is all about the theory of I square C or TWI. Thank you for listening. We will discuss the programming of I square C in the next video.
Thank you.